Much better. Is the weather always like that? Yes, I thought you knew. This is the only part of the planet capable of sustaining life. I didn't expect you to travel so far and face these storms. Professor, this could be the greatest archaeological discovery since the Rosetta Stone. I want to see it with my own eyes. Such as they are. You won't be disappointed. We're almost there. That is one of the alien artifacts? Not quite. That's only the eastern corner of the housing. According to our scans, the whole artifact must be hundreds of kilometers across. How much do you know about it? Not much. Mostly theories based on our sensor data. Professor, here's some new data from Grid Sector 1041. Thank you. Wait! Let me introduce you. This is Mr. Shujin. He's the one who's made all this possible. The financial backing, the supplies. He even designed our risk communicators, especially for this expedition. A pleasure, sir, and thank you. The pleasure is all mine. One of your students, Professor? Yes, he's also writing about the expedition for Galaxy today. Media coverage? I didn't authorize... Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't think this would have upset you like this. It will pass, Professor. I only wish to be sure we don't announce your discoveries prematurely. There's no danger in that, sir. I haven't sent anything to them. Everything's still our secret. Perhaps. Let's make sure, shall we? Does anyone else know what you found? Does anyone else know? Answer me! <laughs> Excellent. Who are you? I am the master. You have all served me well. Keeping us alive to gloat? Not for long. Only to tell you that you've served a greater cause without knowing it. All your effort is mine now. Useless to you without our knowledge. You know nothing. You've only studied the artifacts. I have been researching their creators for centuries. They were called Apshai, did you know that? <laughs> no, Professor. I arranged this expedition only so you could perform the more menial tasks of archaeology on my behalf. This is mine! My work! Now, now. A man should compose himself with dignity in his final moments. As your people what say, are you, doing with you that? can't take it with you. <laughs> the, the shrink! Mr. Ferris, I'm impressed. You actually removed the bracelet in. Come back here! You won't get far. No. I am the master. I am in control. Very well. Run as far as you like, boy. One way or another, your fate, the fate of the entire cosmos, will be sealed. Here we are, dear. Cochrane Memorial Park. I've never heard of it before. Well, I didn't think you would have. A few centuries into your future. This is Earth? Yes, of course. I think. Uh, well, what about the Daleks and all the other aliens? Well, yes, they did leave a mess. The human race is in the process of reconstruction. For many years, Earth is in full bloom once more. It's beautiful. So, what do people do in this place? Just a moment. I have a brochure with me. Doctor, what's wrong? <sighs> Doctor, what's the matter? It's... I don't know. You've traveled in time as much as I have. You've become sensitive to... No. It's not possible. Doctor, be careful. You nearly fell over. Don't you see it? D see what? Doctor, you're scaring me. Time storms. All around us, on the ground, in the sky. Time and space is being torn apart. <laughs> I should have known you would be on Earth. Of all the worlds in the universe, he clings to that insignificant rock. But now that I understand these controls, on to matters of more importance. Welcome, my friends. We have worked a long time for this moment. What is this place? Who are you people? You! But if you are, then you must be! Yes! We are the Master. I've summoned you both here as part of a plan to permanently change our past. How? With this device behind me, the event manipulator, left behind by a long dead race, the Apshai. The Apshai? 
I have only recently learned of their existence, beyond the myths and legends scattered across the universe. And I have been studying them for years. And this is the fruition of your work. All those centuries of waiting and searching have culminated here. We must combine our knowledge. I wish to know everything. A mind leak, perhaps. No, stop! You could be contaminated. What do you mean? I'm afraid there have been some setbacks during the course of our lives. I am infected. You may have heard of the cheetah people and the mental influence of their planet. I was trapped there for a time and afflicted. We are Time Lords. Together we can study- All my experiments have failed. Biochemical agents, mental energy amplifiers, surgery, nothing works. Even now it affects my eyes. These are merely contact lenses to conceal the influence that remains. As you can see, consuming me at the slightest hint of weakness. So this is how it ends? No! This is not my destiny! I refuse to accept a future I did not create! Precisely my point. With this event manipulator, we can literally change everything. It has the power to alter any event in the cosmos. The tiniest detail, the man placing his foot down a single millimeter to the left instead of the right, to one of galactic proportions. Think of the possibilities. We can end torment before it even begins. We shape the cosmos as we see fit. Indeed, the process has already begun. Doctor, please sit down. There's a bench over here. You don't understand. Something is terribly wrong with the fabric of space and time. But only you can see it. For now, when it gets worse, I'd better take <sighs> you back to the TARDIS. But what are we going to? Oh, help! Help over here! Oh, Perhaps please! Change it. No, listen. Now, hold on, Doctor. Help's on the way. Oh, over here! Hurry! Thank you. Ah! <gasps> uh, do you see that? What are those creatures? Doctor, what are they? Salarians. Yes. Your people once called them Salarians. A reptile species. They would have inherited the Earth if history had gone... But they were human! I saw them and then they, they changed! Changing. Timeline is changing. Doctor, what are you doing? I must get back to the TARDIS. Oh, help me! What do we do now? No more slowly. No sudden movements. No, wait! Listen! Earth's timeline is being rewritten. Right under our feet. Your world is in danger. My friend and I are time travelers. Help us so we can help you! Why should we believe a creature like you? You and Dan may look different, but your history and heritage is nearly the same. In different realities, each of your species inherit the Earth. Then we're related? In a sense, yes. Only circumstances kept the Salarians from dominance. Something has changed, and I don't understand why. We've got to find out what it is and stop it! But if you're telling the truth and we help you, you could be wiping out our entire species. We can't do that! It's not as simple as that. Your species may yet have a future together. And it must be in the right reality, where both exist. I know your species. You're intelligent, ethical beings. This reality has wiped out the whole of the human race. You can't let that happen! You must help me put things right. Yes, we must help. Thank you. If you carry him from that side, I'll take this side. Where are we going? Over there, that big blue box. He's heavier than he ruts. Probably all those jelly babies he's been eating. Uh, key. Got it. Hold on, I'll open the door. Oh, almost there. Right, I can take it from here. I hope this is not a mistake. I'll make sure. I promise. has a restorative effect and cloister bells. That sound. Imminent disaster. Whatever is happening out there. You said that Earth's timeline was changing. Why does everything happen to Earth? Not just Earth, Dara. It's everywhere. Look at the view screen. Some sort of cloud. A mass of subatomic particles. Reaching far beyond the range of our scanners. Neutrinos? Tachyons? Particles of exotic matter? Even the raw element of time itself. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what are they doing? Wherever they're coming from, these particles are invading the very fabric of space and time. 
You mean, like a virus? Indeed. All the space and time is being... rebuilt. There's something I don't understand. If Earth changed, and the human race is gone... And yet you're still here with me. So if your existence is somehow anchored in time. If so, all these events have been arranged by a very powerful entity. Not now. Are those particles affecting us? Let's see. We're changing course! And something has taken control of the TARDIS! And we are agreed? Yes, my successor and I shall stay here with the event manipulator, so we can continue our experiments on Earth. You may go into the rest of the cave if you wish, but I hardly see the reason. I told you, one of the students from the dig escaped. I must hunt him down. Is that the only reason? Predatorial instinct? He could pose a threat. <laughs> One person against the three of us. Even if the student were dangerous, we can defend ourselves. There. You see? I say go. Finish it quickly in return. As long as the human suffers. Begin recording. I'm not sure how much time has passed. An hour, maybe. Doesn't look like anyone else survived the expedition. Must be the only one left on this planet, except for that master. If anyone else finds this, please warn the authorities about. Hello. <gasps> now, in which direction did I hear? No. Go ah, away. that way. Please go away. That voice must have been around here somewhere. Hello. Is anyone here? What the? Who are you? It's a long story. I was waiting for some friends of mine. Maybe you've seen them. No. Stay there, where I can see you. What do you expect me to do? Attack you with my scarf? Come now. You're whispering to yourself. You need all the friends you can get. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the doctor. There. I have all the controls where I want them now. Interesting control mechanisms. For sensitive holograms. Apparently, operating the event manipulator will be simple. Even for me, in this wretched condition. So what shall we do with it? Torment Scaro? Or Gallifrey! With this, we could tear down the transduction barrier! Merely a show of force. Unless we had an army, we could create one. A warlike species, born to obey our commands! Controlling their evolution like gods. <laughs> what is this? An early warning system. It's detected! <laughs> that ridiculous blue box here! Perhaps it's time we prepare to welcome for our old friend, the Doctor. Doctor, huh? Doctor Who? What's your field? The cosmos, mostly. All time and space. I travel, but I'm not sure how this time. And you are... Terry Ferris. You didn't answer my question. I answered one of them. Surely that's enough. You didn't even tell me your name. That's hardly important right now, is it? Somehow I've been whisked away from my TARDIS before... TARDIS? It's how I travel. I don't suppose you know where we are and how I got here. We're on Delta Pison 5. Beyond that... Someone's coming. Good. Perhaps he or she can... No! We've got to hide or he'll kill us! Come on! What? I've got to find out what's going on. Wait! He'll see you! I heard you, boy. You're near. The drab air of this dead planet. It carries your scent. Can you see me? Yes, I see you. Why are you bothering me with these holographic parlor tricks? The Doctor's TARDIS is here. How did he know to come here? Unknown. We must prepare for him. Very well. The boy can wait. I'm on my way. It's all right. He's gone. What is he doing here? You know him. All too well. He calls himself... The Master, I know. But what does he want? Power, most likely. He wouldn't be here unless he believed that something here on this planet could extend his life or give him power. But the last time I saw him... We've got to do something! He's already murdered the rest of the expedition! Blast! Just a moment. Did you say expedition? Yes. It was an archaeological dig, looking for evidence of an extinct alien race. Which alien race? Did the Master mention any names? Uh, the Master called them Abshai. Look, we've got to get out of here. If he's called in accomplices... You don't understand. If the person in that holographic image was who I think it is, all space and time is in danger. And if we don't stop them, billions more will die. Or worse. We've landed!
splendid. Good. Let's take a look outside. What is this place? I don't know, Dara. I doubt if there's any indigenous life here. Non-indigenous, perhaps. Look over there. Is that a spaceship right next to us? It appears a long-distance shuttlecraft. But of even greater interest is that cavern over there, directly ahead of us. Obviously, the alien force that took control of the TARDIS wants us to go into that cave. All right, give me a minute to find a coat. No, Dara. I want you to stay here. Oh, not again. I'm only concerned for your safety. Come on, Doctor. There wouldn't be much point in dragging us all the way across the universe just to hurt us. They could have done that back on Earth. They? Well, whoever brought us here, the alien force. But we're not sure who or what is waiting for us. We must provide for contingencies. Like keeping me stuck here in the TARDIS? This is important. I'll go outside and see what I can find in that cave. Now, if I don't come back in 15 minutes, you must send a distress signal. Contact the Time Lords. The Time Lords? They don't care what happens to us. For all we know, they're the ones responsible. I don't think so. If they'd taken control of the TARDIS, they would have sent a recall signal, which would have brought the materialization circuits online. Dara, listen to me. If I fail, the Time Lords are the only ones capable of setting things right. But I don't know how to control the TARDIS. You see these two nodes here on the console? They connect you to the TARDIS's telepathic circuits. Put your hands on them, palms down like this, and concentrate. The old girl will do the rest. We don't really need the Time Lords, do we? I mean, you never used this distress signal before. Yes, I have. Wait here. Welcome, Doctor. I've been waiting. How did you escape from Gallifrey? Did you honestly believe that I would not? Hope springs eternal. <laughs> it amazes me how you manage to become more naive with age. He steps in the rock. Fairly smooth. Signs of excavation. What, pray tell, have you been up to? It would be much easier if I showed you. Follow my voice. Into your parlor. <laughs> I didn't see you leave the cave. <gasps> ah, yes. You've changed a bit, old girl, but it's definitely you. Uh, Doctor? Yes, I'm the Doctor. I take it we've met, young lady. Or perhaps we will meet. I'm not sure. My Doctor is about this tall and likes to dress like a magician. I don't remember that. And before that, he had a long scarf. Again? I hope I replaced the darkish one. But if you're the Doctor... An earlier one, I suspect. How did you get here? I'd like to know as well. I simply appeared outside. Fortunately, I still have my key. Why do you have that scroll in your hand? I was at the Alexandrian Library. Callimachus of Cyrene, a collection of wonders around the world. I'd better return this. This is getting stranger by the minute. Curiouser and curiouser. How did you get here? Someone or something took control of the TARDIS and put us here. The Doctor, well... My doctor went into that cave to see what he could find. Then we'd better catch up with him. You'd better come with me, Miss... Uh, Daryl Hamilton. Thank you, Miss Hamilton. Now fetch a coat, and hurry. My future self is probably running into a trap, and he might need our help to escape. Very good, doctor. Almost there. What is this place? You'll see. Oh, no. Found my collection of miniatures, have you? Who were they? A band of archaeologists here to do my bidding. Yes, I recognize your gratitude. You slaughtered them! They no longer served any purpose. You don't know that! You never... Ah! Is this your doing? This way, Doctor. Put me down! Anti-gravity makes my stomach turn! <laughs> All in good time. Still concerned with the welfare of others instead of your own? As we thought. Predictable as ever, Doctor. Who's that? What are you doing? Adjusting gravity ever so slightly. Enough to bring you closer to us. I've heard that voice before. It can't be. Oh, but it can. I can. What? Three of you? In the same place? Your eyes do not deceive you, Doctor. This is madness. On the contrary, this is only the beginning. How is it possible? Are the Time Lords responsible? No, Doctor. 
We are in control of technology that surpasses the achievements of the Time Lords. Amazing. Doctor, may I present to you the Event Manipulator. An artifact the size of a small city. With the power to shape all space and time to the whim of its operator. The power doesn't exist. The energy consumption rate would be astronomical. Literally. Ah, but not to the Apshai. They mastered the fundamental forces of the universe and bent them to their will. Other planets have a different memory of the Apshai, you know. As warmongers and tyrants. If you believe the history texts. We have no reason to doubt them. History is written by the winning side. The winning side writes history, Doctor. Precisely. Hardly an objective point of view. I suppose I should expect that from a Time Lord. Even from a band of criminals like yourselves. <laughs> Have a care, Doctor! Would you prefer to be in a force field? The air around you would grow quite thin. Your eyes. The after effects of the cheetah planet. I thought that was all gone. A temporary setback. Can you trust him in this state? How long before he turns on you? Ignore him, gentlemen. He of all people should know better than to cast stones. This is a dangerous, criminal course of action. Even you must realize the dangers of tampering with your own past. What I do here is because of you, Doctor. Because of you, I am the man I am today. Don't be absurd. You did this to yourself despite my best- That's neither here nor there, Doctor. Soon even that shall be undone. But one way or another, you will pay for what you've done. How then? Will you kill me? Again? Torment is certainly in your future, my dear Doctor. We may decide to alter your neural pathways, or even a genetic code, piece by piece, so you become more agreeable. I certainly don't agree with you now. Death of personality, if not of flesh. An intriguing proposition. Either way, you will live only long enough to witness our transformation. It will be short, I suspect. Your tinkering with the forces of nature is rapidly growing out of control. Another temporary setback. On the contrary, it was quite deliberate on our part. The Time Lords will be too busy with their own problems to meddle in our affairs now. And with the event manipulator in our possession, we have become as powerful as gods! Now we are the master of everything! Hey.